What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different, something, dare I say, a little bit more fun. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a construction site in Revit. So when you have a complete building project you can actually just apply a few steps and then you can create this really cool uh, 3D construction site uh, rendering or 3D view. I think it looks amazing and uh, maybe it can impress your client or professor or something like that or maybe it's just fun for you. So that's what I'm going to be showing you uh, how to do in today's uh, tutorial. Now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this video. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to subscribe. I, I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I make multiple tutorials and and if you're interested in learning a bit more, I have some courses. I have both beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced level courses. They're all available on L uh, available on my website, balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below the video. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. Also, if you're looking for all my project files, like this cool construction site project file that we're going to be creating, as well as the rest of my Revit project files, well, they're all available on my Patreon page. That's going to be the second link just below the video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So as I said, this is that office building project. This is the floor plan. If you're interested in the full 15 hour course where I show how to create all of this and all of the project documentation, you can find that on my website. The link is going to be uh, just below the video. So anyways, uh, let's now get started immediately by opening up a 3D view. Uh, now, in a lot of cases, you're going to have to set up your own 3D view. Here I have this bird's eye view which I think will work perfectly, but uh, in the interest of a full explanation, let me show you how to create a view like this. So I'm going to navigate here to the roof level, and then once we're at the roof level, I'm going to go up here on the quick access toolbar, find the default 3D view, and we have this little drop menu, and there we can pick out a camera. So I'm just going to go off here to the side and then try to kind of encompass the whole building just like this click and there we go. Now of course we have some adjusting to do so let me go here to the full navigation wheel and then I can look down a little bit. There we go. And actually let's exit out of this. Let's select this and I'm just going to orbit a little bit up. So I want to kind of take a look, kind of have a top-down look at this building. Maybe extend this view a little bit maybe up a little bit like that. Perfect. So now once we're happy with the view that we have created with the kind of orientation of the view, next you want to set up the, uh, the, the, the presentation of the view or the appearance of the view. So for example, I'm just going to go here to visual style and I'm going to leave it at hidden line, but I'm going to go to graphic display options and turn on both the cast shadows and uh, show ambient shadows. And when I hit apply, the whole thing is going to look a little bit nicer. And then also here for lighting, I'm just going to drop these shadows down to something like 13, let's see, maybe a little bit more, 15, perfect. Click OK, there we go. I think it looks a lot nicer right now. Okay, so once we have our main view, we can go here to the project browser, it's called 3D View 1. Uh, let's right click and go to rename and let's call this one the 3D Construction or maybe 3D Construction View. And this can be 3D Construction View number one. Uh, next, you want to select this, right click and then go to Duplicate View and you just go here to Duplicate there we go. This one, if I just click again, this one can be 3D construction view number two. And then let's duplicate that one as well. And this one, yeah, you guessed it, it's going to be the 3D construction view number three. Perfect. So once we have uh, these three views created, now it's time to adjust the settings in such a way where we can have this 3D construction presentation view. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, go here to the, the first view and then navigate down here to the section box and turn that on. There we go, we have our section box. Next, to adjust the section box, you have to select it, 
Go to the project browser, scroll down a little bit and find elevations and there let's select the south elevation. Now what's really good about this is you can see the levels over here and you can use the levels in order to adjust the section box. Now unfortunately it's not going to snap to any of the levels so you have to do it manually and you just want to try to overlap this. Now this is just a simple presentation view, it's meant to look nice so you don't have to be perfect about it but there we go it's kind of overlapping with the first level. So the top of the section box I've just dragged it down and then overlapped that with level one. Perfect. Now when we go back here to the 3D view one it's going to look like that and this is exactly what we want to have. So next you want to select the oops the section box itself and then you want to hide that. So you can go here to hide in view and then hide element. Uh, this way it will only show the uh, it will not show the section box but it will still cut the model. Moving on let's go to construction view number two and then for this one I'm just going to select everything that I can see here on the screen. Go to filter go to check none or actually let's go to check all and then I'm just going to uncheck the multi-story stair, the let's see the structural beam system, the structural columns, the structural framing and this as well and then let's just hit apply. So it's basically going to select everything apart from these few categories like the structural columns, structural beams, beam system, stairs and so on. So once we have the selection of everything else we can go here to hide in view and then hide all of those elements. And there we go, now we have a simple construction of our building. Now of course we should also adjust this uh, with a section box, so let's go to properties, go to the section box, select the section box, go back to the project browser and open up the south elevation and now the top you want it to go let's say to second level. So again you want to overlap the top with the second level but the bottom you want to overlap the bottom with the first level. So this view will only show what's going on between the first level and the second level so only this. Now if we go back to that view number two this is what we get. We get the stair, we get the construction and that's it. And finally let's go to construction view number three. For this one again I'm going to make a kind of a broad selection like this, go to filter and again we're going to do the same thing but in this case let's just uncheck the columns and that's it. I just want the columns to be visible on uh, level three or above second level. So let's then hit apply, OK, go here to uh, to uh, hide in view and then let's just go to hide elements. Perfect, so now we only have the columns and of course we should uh, bring in the section box here in the properties panel, turn that on, select it and again do the same adjustment here in the elevations. So this one should just go from level two, let's make sure that we overlap that correctly, there we go, and then it should just go up. I'm just going to extend it like this all the way up, perfect. And now if we go to section view or to the 3D construction view number three, this is what we get. Now it's time to place everything together and create our cool kind of uh, building construction 3D view. So for that, uh, let's go here uh, into our uh, sheets. So here we go, sheets, right click and then create a new sheet. Here I'm just going to choose the A1 metric and this is what we get. And then it's time to start placing our sheets. Let's go to our uh, main 3D view, uh, or sorry, uh, not the renderings, but the 3D views, and then let's start with the 3D construction view number one. So you want to start always from the bottom, place it, and then uh, also what you can do is here just make sure that it says no title line, so we don't have that title line below. Uh, next let's go with the view number two, and then when you want to place that, as you can see it's going to snap. When you come close to it like this it's going to snap horizontally or like this it's going to snap vertically but you actually want to snap it on both directions like this and click and there we go it's just going to build upon that level and of course uh, just uh, go here to the properties and click no title perfect and here unfortunately we can see the section box so let's go to that 3D construction view number two 
select the section box and just hide it. Same thing goes here uh, for 3D construction view number three. Let's select the section box and hide it. Perfect. Let's go back here to this view and now let's go to our 3D construction view number three. Drag it over, make sure it snaps into position, click and there we go. Perfect. And of course, just uncheck the title line. Also, something that I like to do is select all of these and then here in the properties, uh, the crop region visible, I just uncheck that so it doesn't have that kind of edge. I think it looks a little, a little cleaner. And finally, just to make sure that this looks like a construction site, let's add a crane. So for that, what you want to do is uh, go here into level, uh, into floor plans, go to the ground level or no, we have the street level, perfect. There we go. And then uh, let's go here to components, uh, go to load family. And then for the family, uh, here in our metric family library, we have the site option, so the site folder. You open that up and then here we have the uh, logistics and here we should have the construction crane, perfect. So once we have this construction crane, let's hit open. Uh, let's use the, the, the space key to kind of flip it around place it here, hit the escape key a couple of times, and then let's rotate it a little bit, just like that, perfect. And now if we go to our uh, view, it's going to look like this. So it looks like the building is actually being built at the moment. So I think this is a really great type of a presentation view. Uh, uh, you can show off kind of your building being built and it just shows how you can use the uh, use Revit and then maybe not the way that it's meant to be used in order to create a type of a presentation that you're looking for. In this case, we have created an actual construction site uh, without having to model it. We just used an existing model, just a few, uh, uh, just a few elements were hidden in view, everything was overlapped, and there we go. I think we have a really cool uh, presentation view. So there we go. That's it for this quick little tutorial. I hope that it was fun and interesting for you. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel, make sure to like and share this video. And again, as I said, if you're looking for those advanced courses, like the 15 hour course where I show you how to model this actual building in detail, it's available on my website, balkanarctic.com. And also if you want the project files, like the project file that I have right here, you can find that on my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, quick little tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a few days. Have a nice day.